Hey guys, welcome back to Quick Tip of the Week. This is Josh, and today I'm going to be showing you how to show your text preview. Let's get started. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to show um, any kind of fonts that you're looking at in uh, Photoshop. Now this is actually a problem that I was having quite a long time ago when I first started to use Photoshop and I had all these um, all these different kind of texts and all these things, but all it would show me was just the names and everything. It would never show me what they actually looked like, so all I would be doing was just, be, was just guessing on which font looked good and which font looked bad and I would just have to go through all of these different fonts and everything and I'm basically going to show you how to get rid of that. So uh, if you don't have this right here, I'm going to be showing you how to actually have the uh, font preview. Okay. So now in a uh, in Windows and Mac, it's a little bit different, but it's basically the same thing. Um, for here, you can just go to Photoshop and then preferences. Okay. Now there's all these different preferences that you can use, but we're just going to click on general just for now. And then what we're going to do is go to interface and this is where it says text. Okay. So now this is where it should be enabled from now on and it will show you any kind of font that you want to see without you having to go and just select it and then just see what it looks like and then have to go through every single other font over and over again. It's, it's very time consuming. So you can just choose your language right here and then for depending on what you uh, what you like, like how big you want the preview to be, uh, there's small, medium and large. Um, I have it on medium. I was just putting it on large just for the example. So I have it on medium, and when it's on medium, it looks like this. Um, so uh, that's just a quick little thing that I could show you guys. Um, this was something a long time ago that I had trouble with, and just in case anyone was having trouble with this, I would like to show you just to fix it, just to get it over with. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this quick tip of the week. Um, thanks, uh, and uh, if you did enjoy it, uh, please do like and comment, and if you want to learn more about Photoshop, um, After Effects, and Illustrator, then please do subscribe, guys. Thanks, and I'll see you later.